I'm going to be quite honest with you guys when I say that Call of Duty really hasn't hit the same since I was a kid. And the last couple of years has really shown that. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 was such a drastic change to the formula. And I don't want to go over the gameplay changes that they made in that great campaign. Worst multiplayer experience I've ever played. I don't know how people like it. It blows my mind. But if you are someone who enjoys Modern Warfare 2019, more power to you. I'm not here to hate on it. But we are going to be talking about some new leaked information slash rumors about modern warfare 4 that's supposed to be coming out in 2026 this is coming from bob network uk i think his twitter is down at the moment activision just does not like him and <laughs> i mean it you can see why. Call of Duty has been crazy for the last couple of weeks and months maybe. I mean, Black Ops 6 gameplay was leaked crazy over a, what is it, a broken, it's a jailbroken PS4. A lot of footage has come out in the last couple of weeks and if you've noticed their marketing for Black Ops 6, I bet you it was because of this. I bet you the marketing wouldn't have started maybe till, I want to say that the marketing would have came by now and it would have shown because of that, but I think the craziest thing about this is we would have seen the marketing by now around this time but i think they started it early because of those black ops 6 leaks and it's crazy man it is crazy but today we're going to be talking about modern warfare 4 infinity wards call of duty 2026 reportedly at a standstill as the team is unhappy with certain aspects of the narrative and mechanics of the game and activision is putting severe pressure on iw as a whole and there is supposed to be Modern Warfare 3 2011 maps. And those are set to be returning in Modern Warfare 4. So for me personally, I just kind of want to get the smaller thing out the way. Modern Warfare 3 is one of my favorite Call of Duties. I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion. Uh, I know it wasn't really regarded as one of the better Call of Duties, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. Um, I spent so much time on there playing freaking infected and so many other game modes i love that game and i remember me watching my brother and my cousin get moaps on that game it was it was a time to be alive man that's when call of duty was popping and reportedly at a standstill i mean if you take the if you take call of duty modern warfare 2019 to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022, um, there really isn't that big of a difference in gameplay. I don't know, I'm getting kind of tired of paying $70 for what it feels like a copy and paste. And really guys, if you guys want to hate on me, hate on me, but there is no innovation in the last couple of years. Call of Duty is kind of just a copy and paste franchise every single year. They either bring some new maps, add some new maps, and then the DLC season is the same thing. You're buying skins that don't go into the next Call of Duty, I mean, beside Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. That's a difference. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, hey, and severe pressure on the studio. And we're talking about IW Infinity Ward. Activision is putting severe pressure. I wouldn't really disregard that as pressure because honestly, I do feel bad for Infinity Ward in this case because they're honestly kind of at like, what do we do, you know? What do we do? The narrative is kind of in a weird place too. I mean, if you've seen the way that MW3 ends off, the really, the narrative didn't move forward or it, it kind of just moved backwards. Like, yeah, Makarov's in the story now, but what does that really mean? You know? But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to have to wrap up today's video. It wasn't a very long one. We were just going to be talking about some of the leaks that came out. But let me know what you guys think down below. And I don't want my channel to come off as me hating on this. As much as people think, um, I'm a big Call of Duty fan, man. I love the franchise and I wish we could have one game for a couple years and then have another game for another couple years, but it's just not how it's going to go. I feel bad for the devs most of all because they're crunching and crunching and crunching and I don't know, man. Call of Duty just doesn't hit the same no more. And it's quite unfortunate. I do hope the developers the best and I do hope Infinity Ward finds that magic to this game and hopefully they can craft something amazing. But realistically, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.